Hi YouTube, I just want to create this video really quick. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Uh, it's supposed to be the newest one. Uh, today is July 28, 2018. And this particular unit is supposed to be one of the newest one. So um, basically I have the HDMI uh, right here, the power right here, and I have a mouse uh, dongle, I guess, for a cheap um, wireless mouse and then I have a keyboard plugged in so pretty typical setup and a lot of people wonder um, just like myself how much power does this take to run uh, when it's booting and um, when it's already in the operating system when it's running etc so I decided to create this video and so let's power it up Oops, sorry. Okay, there you go. It's powering up right now, and I'm gonna show you um, here at my wall plug, I have this kilowatt thing that will show you the wattage. So during boot up right now, as you can see, it's booting up uh, soon enough. There you go, it's booting up. And it's taking three watt, 3.2, 3.1, and it's showing the desktop now, and it is 2.8, 3.2, 2.9 watts only, and it looks like it has finished booting up, and uh, I'm going to launch uh, a browser. I think this is a quad-core um, and I have a regular SD card, just a SanDisk SD card, nothing special. Um, and I'm gonna go to YouTube and play a video so that it will stress the, uh, the processor a little bit. And we can see uh, how many watts it's gonna be taking uh, when the processor is being stressed. And hopefully that's a good, satisfiable test for most of us. Okay, so let me take a peek again. Sorry about the glare. So you can see this is 2.8, 2.93. This is when the Raspberry Pi is fully operational. So, oh, looks like it's having a hard time loading up YouTube. Okay, there you go. I think this only have, um, one or two gigabyte of memory, but I browse around um, most websites just fine. I don't haven't seen any issue at all. So let's play, let's say uh, this particular video right here. Tom Cruise forces James Corden to skydive. Okay, I don't know why it's taking a long time for it to load, but hello. Okay, I'm gonna check. Again, it's at 2.9 still, 3.1. Come on already, let's load. Okay, well, I apologize. This is taking a long time. So let me open a new tab. Maybe that would help. There, it's actually loading now. I can see the first tab change title. Wow, this is taking a long time. Is it maybe my Wi-Fi? Should be fine. I think this is probably a memory issue. Uh, just a lot of things to load. SD card is not all that fast. Yeah, I spent probably around $45 for the whole kit. I uh, purchased this kit from Amazon. I'll put the uh, link on the description. Um, it's called Canna Kit. It's this thing right here. from a 
company called Canakit. Okay, it looks like it's not loading the video. I'm not sure if this is a YouTube issue or what. Stop the page, reload, still doesn't help. Okay, let me check the wattage again. Right now it's at 3.54. I have never seen it past five, by the way. So my maximum that I've ever seen the wattage is probably 5, 5.1. If never reach uh, in the high fives, it's always been in the low fives maximum. Okay, I apologize for taking so long, but it's actually finally playing right now. And you can probably hear um, the sound is actually coming out of the... Uh, HDMI, so that's very nice. Uh, this is the um, default Raspbian uh, software that is that comes default with the Noops uh, software installation. So everything is pretty much default. And again, it's video playing. 4.2, 4.1, and then high threes. I'm gonna switch this to full screen. There it is on full screen. It looks great. A little bit blurry, but looks great. Um, let me see if I can switch the uh, resolution to something quite high. Because right now it's 144. That's pretty low. Let's switch it to HD. I don't know if it's going to load or not. Okay, it does. All right, that looks great. And... HD full screen YouTube playback, 4.6 watt, 4.5. That's pretty good. Um, okay, and it's buffering now. Again, this is not connected via the ethernet. It is uh, just using uh, Wi-Fi. But it's amazing what the computers can do these days for 30 something dollars plus SD card you can pretty much do a lot of basic things on the Raspberry Pi for the cost of four point something watts of power and uh, probably lower if you're not watching a YouTube video I would say average is probably gonna be around four watts all right thank you uh, for watching um, if you like my kind of videos I do tech, real estate, and some other DIY stuff. Uh, please uh, hit the like button. On, uh, also, if you like to subscribe, please do so. I appreciate uh, any subscription. I'm trying to get to uh, YouTube um, 1,000 um, subscription requirements. Please help me out. Um, click the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thank you.